Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. Tonight I was going to be playing some um, PlayStation 5 as you can see. I got my PS5 controller, it looks really big. <laughs> I got the camera zoomed in. Um, but I've been playing the game Alien Isolation, which is actually my first time playing Alien, I Alien Isolation, which is a horror game based on the Alien movies, which is pretty fun, so far pretty cool. But I wanted to talk about the recent Xbox news. Well, basically, a whole bunch of, like, developers and, and people who are making video games are starting to be like, why should we support the Xbox platform? Um, there's also some news where uh, people have said that X Xbox games like Hi5 Rush are actually running better on the PlayStation 5 console. So there's a lot of issues with Xbox right now where you got... Uh, you got the developers basically saying, why should we support Xbox? Which, that's a massive issue when you have developers, the people making games, um, saying, well, why should we support this company when we have PlayStation and Nintendo? And, you know, Xbox obviously isn't doing very well when it comes to console sales. Um, the numbers are way down for Xbox. PS5 has been, um, you know, PlayStation 4 is still in the lead compared to the PS5. The PlayStation 4, you know, a lot of people still use the PS4, a lot of people still use even the Xbox One, um, but when it comes to this generation specifically, the PlayStation 5 has dominated the Xbox Series X. The PS5 has been the the successful console when it comes to Xbox versus PlayStation, when it comes to sales, when it comes to games and all that stuff. And when the PS5 came out, you had, yes, it's not like a major, it's not like a, a huge amount of games, right? But PlayStation 5 still has the exclusive games. It has the controller that has the rechargeable battery where you just plug in, plug this into a wall and it charges. Um, you know, the PS5 has just been a better system overall. And it is, it's been the system that everyone's been choosing over the Xbox Series X. And um, now you have developers saying, why should we support Xbox? You have developers leaving Xbox. When I looked up uh, the information online, there's a whole bunch of people that want to leave Xbox. There's a whole bunch of people that are saying that if, X if Xbox games are running better on PlayStation, what is the point in supporting the Xbox platform, the Xbox console? Um, because apparently High 5 Rush works better on a PlayStation 5 than it does on the Xbox Series X. And Microsoft has always said that, well, the Xbox Series X and, and the Xbox Series X is supposed to be the most powerful game console in this generation. Um, which, yeah, it's true. The Series X is supposed to be a little bit more powerful than the PS5, but PS5 is running games somehow better than the Xbox. Which is like, I don't know how that works, if it's supposed to be very powerful. Um, but, again, you know, the... Xbox Series X isn't going to get console sales just because it's powerful. Um, you obviously need to have good games for the console. And with the launch of the Series X, Halo Infinite, you had to wait a while for that game to even come out. Um, Halo Infinite had a whole bunch of major issues. Then you had the game Starfield, which was also a massive fail for Xbox. And it just seems like it is going badly for Xbox right now. And um, <coughs> with the whole multi-platform stuff... There really is going to be, in my personal opinion, when it comes to future generations of Xbox consoles, because yes, Xbox does plan to do more consoles, but I do think that they will continue to fail. The, you know, the Xbox that was successful for Microsoft was the Xbox 360. And in the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 generation, Microsoft really focused on games. They focused on their console. It was all about making the 360 an amazing experience and a good console. And this generation, Xbox has not done that. Same with the Xbox One. Um, there's not many titles out there that really make an Xbox worth having. Yes, you know, I love Gears of War. It's one of my favorite series on the Xbox, but there's nothing really else that really grabs my attention. Yeah, there's Halo and stuff like that, but it's like... Those are like the only two big titles I can think about when, you know, looking at Xbox. When you have PlayStation, you got God of War, Ratchet and, Ratchet and Crank, Twisted Metal, um, and so on. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I believe that game's called. And 
you have a whole bunch of games on and PlayStation. You got Asher's Playroom. They're just more experiences and better experiences you can find on PlayStation than on an Xbox. And as we matter when it comes to the overall power of the console, what matters is what console is bringing games, what console is bringing the better experience when it comes to like the controller. Uh, maybe when it comes to like the look of it, the design of it, um, you know, some people might pick up a PS5 because you could replace the plates and change the color when you want to. You can open up the console easily and just clean it out and all that stuff. Again, it uses rechargeable battery. You don't have to use double A's on the PlayStation 5. And the PS5, of course, has exclusive games. Even though it's not a lot, the PS5, I believe, has a lot more going for it than the Xbox Series X. And Xbox has focused less on... Microsoft have, has focused less on the Series X and more so on Game Pass and more so on, um, you know, putting Xbox games on multiple platforms. And that is why the Series X is a failure of a console because, you know, number one, Microsoft isn't really supporting it the way Sony supports the PS5. Um, and they've also focused mainly on Game Pass this generation, and the Series X, I feel like, has been pretty much left to just die out, you know? It's <clears throat> not getting sold, you know, not that many people own a Series X, it's like, what, 20 million or something like that, 25 million, compared to the PS5 having, like, at this point, probably, like, um, what is it, close to, I think it was, like, 50 million, and then they got more, so it's, like, at maybe 56 million or something like that, sales, whatever the numbers are. But the PS5 is doing better. More people are interested in the PlayStation 5 console. And, you know, generally speaking, when it comes to the night generation, a lot of people are going to be going for the PS5. You know, if I had, if I did not own a PlayStation 5 system, I had $500 in my pocket, I went to Best Buy or I went to, you know, some other place, so Amazon, eBay... I had $500 in my pocket. I would choose the PlayStation 5 because PS5, again, it is a better console. It is a superior system. Um, the controller is overall better. The few games it does have are amazing experiences with, you know, great gameplay. They are very fun and addictive, kind of like, um, you know, kind of like Ash's Playroom. Great experience, very addictive. And let's just face it, Xbox is just, they're going nowhere. Um, the whole Netflix thing, they want Game Pass to be basically a gaming Netflix service. And honestly, I think I blame that partially for the reason why the Series X is just a failure. Because, look, I would rather own my games instead of paying for like a subscription service. Because you don't actually own any of your games. And Xbox, Xbox wants to go the direction where you don't really own anything. You just pay a subscription service like Netflix, and you just download a bunch of games and play them. And for some people, that's okay. You know, yeah, it's a pretty good service, um, because instead of paying $70 on games, you're getting games monthly for, like, what, like, $16 a month or uh, $16 a month or something like that, whatever the price is. Um, and PlayStation obviously has the same thing, but in my opinion, I would rather own my games. I don't want the future of gaming to be Netflix. I don't want Xbox to keep going this route because, in my opinion, the Series X has been getting worse and worse and worse over time. Microsoft has done really nothing for the console, and every single big Series X game can also be played on the Xbox One. So, for the people who still own the Xbox One, there's actually no reason for you to even upgrade, because most of the Xbox Series X games actually work on the One. I mean, basically, same with the PS5, with a whole bunch of PS4 games, right? But the PlayStation 5 at least has some amazing titles that would make you go buy one. Like, honestly, I would buy a PS5 just for Asher's Playroom. I would get a PlayStation 5... Um, you know, just for some of the PS5 exclusives, even if it's like three or two, um, you know, the exclusive games are actually pretty amazing, even though there's not that many. And um, it actually runs PS4 games better than the PS4, obviously, because of SSD, it's a powerful console. But I mean, the controller itself, Astro's Playroom, and being able to change the plates out, I've enjoyed my experience with this console. I've enjoyed being able to just take it apart and clean it and just change my plates, make it all blue and nice. 
And honestly, I think that this console is better than the Xbox Series X. It is destroying the Xbox Series X. And the PlayStation 5 is being sold way more than the Xbox Series X. More people are buying the PS5. Even people who own, even people who are Xbox fans have actually gone over for the first time ever to pick up a PlayStation 5 console. That says a lot right there. And that shows you that Microsoft and Xbox in general have failed in this generation. They failed the last generation. The last good Xbox console they ever had was the 360. And that is the truth right there. But anyway, I'm in the video, so hope everyone enjoy. Leave a comment down below what you think. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And um, <clears throat> again, uh, hope everyone had a good day or night. Sorry that I'm kind of like splastic and my... my <laughs> Um, yapping all over the place. I was just trying to make a quick video. I have all this energy right now. But I saw some news going on. I want to make a quick video on this because Xbox is doing very badly when it comes to sales, when it comes to games, when it comes to even their own fan base. You have Xbox fans leaving the Xbox platform because they're sick of the crap that's been happening with Phil Spencer and Xbox. And it just doesn't seem like they actually care about the Series X. You know, Sony, when I look at Sony as a, a company, they put a lot more care into the PlayStation console. That is my opinion. I think that they do a really fantastic job when it comes to the controllers, when it comes to being able to take it apart and change things out. I think Sony, in general, has been doing a fantastic job. There was some issues with Sony, obviously. I have gotten on PlayStation before. But, in this generation, just like the last generation... You know, PlayStation, well, I think, will always be the more successful console. And Xbox simply has just failed its own fans. And, you know, I don't, I can't see Xbox ever, ever being able to outsell PlayStation and ever being able to hit high numbers like the 360 ever again. But anyway, peace out.